particularly because I am concerned about my future. As the global average temperature in increases over time, as the temperature increases over time, the issues associated with climate change will increase in severity. It will take time for our climate to heat up. So much time that our current politicians will probably not be alive to witness the worst effects of the climate crisis. However, my generation and future generations will be alive. We will endure the effects of a chaotic and rapidly changing climate. We will be subject to drought, famine, increasingly severe storms and wildfires, worse air pollution, increased prevalence of insect-borne diseases, coastal flooding, climate refugee crises, potentially wars over dwindling resources, and much, much more. When facing a problem of this magnitude, it's easy to blame the United Nations or international diplomats for doing so little. It's easy to lament our president's denialism or partisan gridlock as causes of our failure to pass meaningful climate legislation. It's easy to point away to it's, it's easy to point to faraway leaders who are doing le little, thus relieving ourselves and our local and state politicians from the responsibility for te to protect our future. But the truth is, the world is not run by the United Nations. No, it's not. No. with power distributed between every level of government. This means that every level of government, from Congress to state legislators all the way down to school boards, has a responsibility to use what power it has to stop climate change now. It's simply not enough for local leaders to complain about our president's inter uh, inaction while doing next to nothing themselves. That's why the Rochester Youth Climate Leaders have been campaigning for a climate action plan in Monroe County for the past year. We understand that the time is running out and we're trying our best to convey that to our elected leaders. We're also doing our best to approach climate policy in a sensible and reasonable manner. In fact, we've laid out a few initial steps towards combating climate change in Monroe County. The most important one, and the one I will focus on today, is the creation of a Climate Action Plan Advisory Board. of local experts on climate science, economics, and public policy who would draft the policy needed to adequately address climate change locally. Creating this advisory board would not commit the county to doing anything really, and it wouldn't cost the county exactly zero dollars to implement. This board is clearly a win-win first step, and yet county leaders seem to not take us seriously enough to even do something so easy and, quite honestly, somewhat meaningless. We reach out to all 29 county legislators, and, well, to be, to be fair, we have met with six or seven of the Democrats. However, only one Republican has taken up on our offer to address their questions personally. Is this right? No! I find this to be terrible and really strange, especially given the facts. The facts are that 69% of Republican voters think inaction on climate change is actually hurting their party. Not just the planet, but also their party. Yeah. Also, the Republicans are supposed to be about, you know, economic growth, protecting our economy. And the, the facts are clearly in favor of acting on climate change for the economy. For instance, jobs within the renewable energy sector tend to pay more than the, high, the national average. Renewable energy production creates far more jobs than fossil fuel production. In fact, even though renewable energy makes up just a fraction of national energy production, it already accounts for three times more jobs than fossil fuel. <laughs> By increasing energy efficiency, we will save money on energy costs, freeing up capital, more capital for investment in our region. And that's not to mention the fact that if we fail to address climate change, we will all suffer the economic ramifications. If, if saving money is the mantra of the Republican Party, then why are they not doing more about climate change? I don't know, but I'm so inspired to see all of you out here today. And I truly believe that if we keep showing up to these protests, we will make our voices heard and we will get changed on in the Monroe County Legislature. <laughs> to 
show up, not just today, but every day, to make your voices heard. <laughs> the next county legislature meeting will be on October 8th at 6 p.m. inside here. You gotta say coach, that louder, they can't hear you at all in the back. The next county legislature meeting will be on Tuesday, October 8th, in this building. I need all of you here to help us address the climate crisis. <laughs> climate change is a very distressing issue, and a lot of us often get caught off in the doom and gloom of it. So before I go, I want to leave you with a quote from Noam Chomsky on the power of hope. If you assume there is no hope, you guarantee that there will be no hope. If you assume there is, there is an instinct for freedom, that there are opportunities to change things, then there is a possibility that you can contribute to making a better world. Let's spread that dual message of desperation and hope. We can get this done, we need to get this done, but we need all of you to act now to get this done. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce legislator Joseph Morelli, Jr. Um, because climate, our climate is going to hell and we need to fix it now. This is a national... I am proud to support a climate action plan here in Monroe County, but I'm going to tell you what, we need other leaders in Monroe County to help us and stand with us in order to make a difference. And the people who work inside the building behind me don't believe you. They don't believe facts. They don't believe science. And in order to make them believe, what we need to do is take them out of their offices. And democratic so that we can make changes that will truly help the people of Monroe County no longer just words but action. I want to thank Liam and the Rochester Youth Climate because they have been here time and time again and they remind county legislators that if you want to make change, do this. Let's make a step in the right direction. All we're asking for is a climate action plan. It's not that hard, people. <laughs> October 8th. October 8th in this building behind me. I'll be here. I have to be here. But I need all of you to be here, too. legislators that this really is the truth and this is really happening and if they don't do anything you're voting them out of office Adam Bellow is committed I'm committed members of the Democratic Caucus are committed we stand with you if you want to make a change don't forget to vote thank you all very much <laughs> 